favourite character in your books? Because I think people always love to know that. So um, perhaps Judy Houston, you could start us off. I think it probably is James. I, I totally fell in love with him, yeah. I was transported back in time into history and he was a very modern man, you know. He was the man that I would have liked to have met, yes, definitely. Mm. You've got us all intrigued about James now. Uh, Ange Barton, who was your favourite to write mm. about? Uh, my favourite was um, Arlette, and here she is, walking through a field of poppies. Um, and I loved her because I, I wanted to choose a very ordinary and innocent character because I was going to put some terrible obstacles in her way. And so I needed her to, to grow and, um, and become stronger and overcome those obstacles. So she's my favourite. And what about you, Jane? Well, for me, it's um, the veteran George in another you. Um, he, his wisdom um, embodies the best of the wartime generation as far as I was concerned. He's humorous, he's wise, he's down to earth, and he has the benefit of 50 years of hindsight to put his experience in the war into context. And that helps my heroine Marie in an awful lot of ways, both understanding the relationship she's having with the contemporary soldier and how things really were in the past. I just love George. I'd love to have met a George, and I suppose I have met many Georges along the way, really. Your, your George has reminded me of, I think it's Maximo in your story there, Angela. Pierre? Yes, Massim Massimo, yes. yes Massimo. It might yeah, have. That's, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> that's similar, and um, I, I, I based him on Bruno, who is a hundred, but I have artistic license obviously but the fact that he was plucked from a country area at such a young age went to Egypt um, ended up in England and he's also very kind um, and um, yeah I just I love old people actually I love listening to their stories but I, I like some of my minor characters there's a minor character that I would would have liked to have been Molly. She's very uh, carefree and liberated and her husband's away and she's a bit naughty while he's away and uh, <laughs> I, I, I quite like her as well. I raised my eyebrows when you said you were going to be Molly then. <laughs> who's your favourite? In the end I've, I've opted for, um, for Jess whose story I haven't even written yet. She's, she's going to be the heroine of the, of the third book but um, but she, I think because she's totally the opposite of me. She's a complete flirt, an extrovert, and she's been such fun to write. And she's always got, you know, the, the right quip to say, which takes me about three months to, to actually get the right quip for her to say, you know. But for her, obviously, it just comes naturally. And it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. But I've had to save her book to the last because I thought she'd be the most difficult one to write, you know, to sustain for a whole book. That's, that's again one of the wonderful things about writing, isn't it? These characters can do all kinds of things that, that you don't. 